What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. The idea is that I will go to various places including charity shops and car boots and I will pick up things to collect and to sell on, preferably for a profit. Uh, in this particular video, it's what I picked up throughout Sunday. I hit up two car boots, we had my regular summer Sunday and my regular summer sunday afternoon as well so in no particular order here's all the bits that i bought uh, it wasn't too bad uh, the best bits are to come at the end i think so we have ghost recon 2 on the gamecube uh 50 pence there was a few more games um but someone else got them before i did uh, i'm presuming the reason why they left this one behind is because there is no manual so they may be able to pick one up i don't think i have this one uh no, don't I do unless it's under his ghost. Uh, e F G H no. So I don't have it, which is always a plus. So 50p well spent as far as I'm concerned. Uh, then trade fodder, we have Wii Sports for the Wii, 50 pence. Then I got these two for two for one pound fifty. We have Cooking Mama 3 and Cooking Mama 2, uh, which I think seven pounds together in vouchers i want to say so i need to build up that um that voucher for jason because uh i still owe him a lot in vouchers for those games uh it says three pounds but i've got the two for a fiver and um, so we have a torch version of darth vader which is to be fair i've never tried to sell one of these before so whether i can or not i've got no idea uh, but the one that should be slightly easier to sell should be this Ninjago uh, alarm clock. Alarm clocks are normally quite quick and easy. Uh, you're looking at normally anywhere between sort of 10, 15, possibly even 20 pounds, uh, depending on what ones. But Ninjago is still quite new. Um, obviously, we had a film relatively recently. So, uh, yeah, I reckon... I reckon I'll aim for sort of 15. I've not looked to be fair to see what they're going for, but to pay £2.50 for that sort of product, you, you know you're going to make your money on it. And um, then various toys, uh, we bought these throughout the day. I think they were all pretty much 50 pence each. So we've got this guy, which is, to be fair, he had the potential to be really awesome looking. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's trying to focus on me. But it's got like a rubbery face. And as you push this button on its back, its mouth opens, um, but it's just been played with that much that it's just broken away. So that was 50 pence. Then we have this dark side figure, which to be fair, isn't that bad. It does look quite cool, 50 pence. Now I was speaking to one of the other guys who's normally quite clued up on his uh, toys it's a little bit older than what i am uh not much though about neither of us can remember who on earth this is uh without googling it i've still not googled it so i still can't remember who it is but it does look so familiar and we have a tall ultron uh i've got a few of these now i think i've probably got an ultron but i've now got another iron man so yeah we've got eight now i think six or eight to be honest, I'm, I'm half tempted because I only paid 50 pence each for those again. Um, I'm tempted just to keep hold of them until Infinity War Part 2 comes out because that's when everything's just go up again. Uh, Skeleton Warriors, 50 pence from different people as well. Uh, we have this female Skeleton Warrior. She looks quite damn scary. It keeps on focusing on me. I have to bring it back here. But yeah. Skeleton Warrior, I sold a bundle with a load of weapons, um, 30 something pounds. So we're now three figures in, although this guy might be a double. But they, oh, they do look so cool. I, I love them so much. It's absolutely wicked. 50 pence. Uh, we have a stack of tapes, there's one missing, which is in the my crate below me. Three pounds. Uh, oh, some more toys. Doctor Who figure. Um, this is when 
I think the Dalek fuses with, it was like a, a mob gangster from New York. And he basically keeps the intelligence, but he develops feelings and he realizes feelings are the, is the path to true power or something. Let's go for memory. Uh, then, hi, this is uh, David Tennant's run. And I can't remember the name. These were on David Tennant's first episode, I believe, when he gets his hand chopped off. So, 50 pence. The dude from Bucky O'Hare, 50 pence. Oh, I've got no idea who this guy is, but he looks wicked. Again, 50 pence. We've got some VHSs. I don't know if we pick up VHSs, but you understand why. We've got Pokemon Mew vs Mewtwo, twice over. We also have Pokemon The Movie 2000. So there's too much light going on behind me. And Primate Problems. There was another one, but the um, the case, the cover artwork was just completely destroyed. So that's probably going to be going... Oh, there's actually not a lot of room. I just sort out my VHSs. And uh, so they were 50 pence each, but I'll be keeping those for the time being until I can sort them all out. Um, I don't normally buy a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and I've bought two in two weeks. But this is Yu-Gi-Oh GX and... Ah, there's like loads of medals. I'll grab a few out for you because um, these do look quite cool. These all come with um, like an Eagle Moss subscription box. So we've got, I think that's Joey. I might be completely wrong. We've got that dude. And we've got that, ah, uh, that's, uh, I can't remember what it's called. But I would imagine that quite a lot of it is going to depend on which ones I've actually got. which I don't think is anything overly collectible. There's a Jinzo triangle thingy. It's not full, it's not like um, a complete set of Jump Magician Girl, um, whoever that dude is. Ah, uh, so the people are round and then the monsters are like a jagged shape. So we've got like a Kangaroo punchy man. He does not want to focus at all. It's getting there, it's trying to. Uh, but that was three quid. So it comes with the, one second, carry case. Uh, then the last item I bought from that car boot was a sealed Monopoly. Um, and this one is from 1999. 50p. 50p I, I would imagine it's got to be 20 plus uh, but it's just going to go on the pile of board games that's going to be uh, to be honest I think a lot of it is just going to go 7 day auction and um, closer to Christmas so I'm going to have to order in a lot of boxes but that's first car boot done so let's have a switch around I've just realized how fluffy my hair is as well it's, uh, it's about a half six. No, tell a lie, it's now ten past seven on Sunday. It's just been that mad and that warm. I just didn't want to do anything. Um, right, so second car boot. Um, I queued up with the buyers. One of the guys that I know um, sells as well. So he tends to go in and grab as much stuff as he can. I uh, literally got in. I ended up buying two things. Which was these two. Basic trade fodder. Lego Batman on the 360, Tekken 6 on the 360, 50 pence each, five, six pound, I think, uh, combined, maybe a bit more. I don't know, it's such a long day. Um, then I, I saw Mo, um, and he's like, Nez stuff, Nez stuff, I've already bought a load. So I was like, oh, okay, here we go. All the good stuff's gonna be gone. Uh, I ended up getting three items, I paid 25 pound for the lot. Um, and I think I'm keeping all three items as well. Every single week I tell myself I'm not going to buy anything for myself. I'm going to try and save some money. But then you end up finding a really good deal and you just can't resist. End up getting a boxed Nintendo GameCube Black. The only thing it is missing a... Missing? Mission? Mission? Uh, 
I'll get there in a minute. It's missing a black controller, um, but I definitely have one of these. So one of those, sorry. I'm all over the place right now. So 15 pound he went for that originally, but uh, because of the several items that I bought, he knocked it down to, but I offered 25 and he took it. He had a box NES as well for 60 quid. I don't think I would pay £60 at a car boot unless the box was like pristine. But the guy said he it had a controller in it, but he's a collector as well. So and he's basically kept the controller for himself, which was fair enough. He had some really nice stuff actually. Um there was a lot of loose NES games. Uh there was a couple of boxes, only one box when I got there, and this is it. And it is Super Mario 3. Uh now it's missing the polystyrene bit at the bottom. But it has got the manual, which to be fair is actually in quite decent condition. I think it's, I'm sure I already have this game, but I think this is in better condition than one I already have. So, and the um, the sticker itself is, uh, I just sniffed that, I don't know why. But that's cool. So, uh, he had this price down at £10, so I'm sure these normally have um, polystyrene in the bottom of them. Have I completely made that up? I don't know. Uh, what else? So yeah, that was only boxed NES game. Uh, one of the other guys, Ben, um, went round and I think he spent like 60 odd quid there, uh, but he got some games that he knew that he wanted and he needed. So. He did alright. Then the last game that I bought was loaded for the PS2. Uh, PS2, that's the PS1. Uh, yeah, it's... I think he wanted three quid for it. So I basically ended up getting this for free, which isn't too bad. And it's a game that I know that I need as well. So, happy days. Then possibly, for me, the find of the day, which I wasn't expecting because um, I already walked past this guy two or three times um, and then I saw the box art and I was like oh wow that actually does look like really nice uh, <laughs> and he said I want 20 quid for it it goes about 70 online I was like mm, yeah of course it is mate so I googled it in front of him and it bloody does It's a fancy dress set for the Power Rangers. Now I know what you're thinking, why on earth have you bought that? It's just a fancy dress set. Well, there's one item in here at least goes for 50, 60, 70 pounds. And to be fair, the ones that I've seen didn't have the, the same badge in that this one does. Now, this is the contents of the box, uh, as you can see. It's Jason from the Power Rangers. Now the money, from what I can tell, is in this thing here. It is a morpher and I didn't see any T-Rex ones. Admittedly, I was in the middle of a field. My signal wasn't the greatest. I was rushing around a bit. Saw what they were going for. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have a bit of that. But you press the buttons on the side, it does that. And then you can take the badge out and you can put a different badge in it. Although that doesn't really make sense because surely the other ones should be a different color inside. So that you're looking at anywhere between 60 and 80 pounds. Um, admittedly, it's not the best because these stickers are starting to go. Did not mean to do that. That's because it's got the thing on the back you're supposed to hold when it's morphing time. Uh, that is so nostalgic. Then we've got a Power Rangers power gun. It goes into a sword and then A gun. It's just cool. Um, get twenty pound alone just for that, and then you've actually got the um, the fancy dress itself. I'm not going to get it all out because it's like that horrible plasticky vinyl stuff, and I don't want to risk damaging it. And I'm in my my current office. If if and when we get the new one, it's going to be so much easier. Uh, but big butts and they cannot lie but yeah it's just really bloody cool there is a it's the pterodactyl uh, coin in here and um, so the ones to collect are triceratops pterodactyl mammoth 
Tyrannosaurus and the Sabretooth. All original. This is 91 surely, 93. I'm gonna have to do some proper research. I think it's gonna be well over 100 pounds. Um, I'm trying to think as to, I, I don't know if it's gonna be worth more splitting it or keeping it as one. I've not seen, I didn't see one complete listing uh, as to the whole lot. But if you're looking at, I see for cosplayers, the more for alone is going to be where the money is. But then again, if the cosplayer's got a child, then they've got the suit, the, like the, the old school suit. So that could be interesting. But no, that was it. That was all I bought. Um, I, I, five to seven years, in case you're wondering, in case any of you guys have a child out there you want to put into a Jason Power Ranger suit. Uh, but that was it. Nothing particularly major. Um, it was a bloody long day. Um, I don't. I, I should have gone to the second morning, but we ended up talking. Uh, me and Mo was just talking for ages, and um, then I was winding up his little brother as well, and then we were play fighting for what probably was about half an hour to an hour, just start winding each other up and stuff. So, yeah, that is it. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.